Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So, uh, we've crushed Verona, which was finally useful. We had, we're at war with uh, some peasants up here. I'll decide what I'm going to do about them. But we crushed Verona. We took uh, this, finally took these, like, random provinces that were, like, maybe here. I thought I gave rid of, got rid of this piece of land. Um, I got rid of one of these pieces of land. Anyway, oh, because I gave this one to my son, and then I just inherited this. Okay, now this all, or I just won that in the war. Now it all makes sense. Um, I brain fart all of a sudden. Um, so now what we're going to do is try to go to war with uh, pretty much whoever we can who has territory we hold, which is basically Bari, which we can't, we just truce them, uh, Ilkhanate, who we still have a temporary truce with, and our best friend, the Venetians, um, who we of course have a truce with as well, but we're going to have to murder somebody. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to murder uh, a Venetian. The Serene Doge, to be exact. At least we're going to try to murder the Serene Doge. So let's see if we can find him. He's currently at war with two people. Go to the diplomacy screen. Where are you? Oh, you're right here. You are leading troops, in fact. Um, what happens if I try to murder you? Does everybody like you? Let's just check that out. Yep, everyone loves you. Declare or declare war. Assassinate. Um, pretty crappy chance. Are you the best I have? You are the best I have, or equally equivalent to the best I have. So if we build a spy network here, and then we try to murder you. Uh, two out of, or one out of three chance basically to murder him with a one out of five chance of getting discovered. Let's see how it goes. Big bucks, no whammies. Yes! Fantastic! Oh, and of course we do need to take this piece of land from the, uh, from these guys, the Knights Hospitaller. So we'll have to do that in the relatively near future. But first what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, because now there should be a new one of these guys. Yep. Declare war. Um, de jure claim on Lykea. We're going to just wait for our forces to get their butts over here. What forces do I have raised out of curiosity? Just, um, a le uh, some mercs, and I can hire some more, uh, I can hire some more retinue, but I don't think that's going to make a big difference right now. Alright, come on down, guys. Come on over. Come on over, baby. And I'll crush that, uh, that nuisance of a bastard up there. Come along. Come along, my my uh, mercenary friends. Good, somebody converted. Doing a good job finally getting everybody to be the correct faith. Uh, it's taken a while, but we're getting there. Come on, this army. Yep, that's the truce with Bari, or uh, not Bari, with uh, the Elkanate that's about to expire. And there's a goddamn second Sunni uprising. Where is it? It's all the way the fuck over there, too. That's gonna be fucking annoying. Um, we're gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> Declare war. Does your claim on Lykea attack? Um, and then we're gonna raise. Oh, somebody's taking care of that army for me, so I don't even have to raise those troops. Excellent. 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 Oh, and there's the 18,000 Venetians. Yes, I'm gonna crush you, Corinthos. Sweet, we won a, uh, <laughs> a war I didn't even have to fight. Fought. A war I didn't have to fight. God. Sometimes I cannot speak. Alright, let's continue. So, yeah, we'll win, try to win this war ASAP. Um, uh, we are losing men. That's not good. Losing them to attrition, but we've already won the first siege. Where did that army go? They're still there. Okay, good. 18,893 guys chilling on my island. Oh, Venice. Venice, Venice, Venice. Let's 
Somebody's known as the Wicked. Saw that. Can we walk onto that island? I think we can. I think there's a little dotted land bridge. Which means that from here we could go to uh, this island if need be. 40%. Um, somebody might fancy me. It's not appropriate. It's never appropriate, guys. Come on. Don't we all know that? Um, do you want to make peace? No, of course you don't want to pe make peace. It's been a very strange uh, Crusader Kings 2 game, by the way. This is maybe the most aggressive I've ever... Um, oh, come on. Don't need increased revolt risk. This is maybe the most aggressive I have ever played. Constantly warring. That's not true. There's been a couple games where I've tried to win, you know, conquer everything. And in those games, especially near the end, you are also being very aggressive. Um, especially if you weren't aggressive enough at the start of the game. Which uh, happened to me. Because, you know, I wasn't aggressive enough at the start of the game. Alright, so I'm getting my fleets ready. I'm gonna bring, meet them down here. We get on the boats, come over here, siege this crap. We're already at 50% war score. This bastard will, of course, not want to, uh, surrender. I'm hoping, like, Hungary or something will decide that it's in their best interest to declare war on, uh, on Venice for some small piece of territory or something. That would be really, really nice. But at the moment, they don't seem to want to do that. Uh, we're going to Athens, actually. Oh, probably should have just gone to where I was going. Oh, that was a mistake, but still, I had so many men that I didn't suffer anything from it. Um, there's really no point in fabricating claims anymore. I should make people like me. That's really what I should do. It's too bad I just moved that guy. But yeah, I should be trying to make people like me. So that's what I'll do shortly. Alright, how many men do you get? 1,965? That is not enough, my friend. You need, like, 4,000 probably to realistically stop me. Um, or at least piss me off. And you don't have 4,000. You have 15, 13, 12... Well, now all your guys are dead. This is good, because when I murder your next guy, um... I'll have the guys I need to, uh, I'll have the guys ready I need to, to do good things. Congratulations, you are going to train troops in the capital, even though it's completely useless. Because I don't raise my own armies anymore. But it makes me feel good. Oh, we lost a siege. Big pooper. That's okay. We're winning all these sieges much more quickly than we're losing those sieges. Um, I believe everybody by now who's been watching these videos is well aware that 2 to 1 is the, or 10 to 1, not 2 to 1, is the magic ratio to push. You don't actually need 10 to 1. You can do it with lower ratios and still actually be pretty, uh, pretty safe. But uh, 10 to 1 is the value that generally everyone agrees is the magic number. Malta down here is uh, not a great place to li live. Basically, every time uh, a war happens, they get attacked. Like, literally every time I go to war with Venice, or anybody, it seems, these days, the AI is like, oh yeah, Ven you know where's a good place to be? Uh, Malta. Don't know why. They seem to be really obsessed with that place, though. Alright, this war is about to end. Not reading the pop-ups anymore. I hope that's not bothering anybody. Um, if you've made it this far, you're probably cool with it. Uh, all right, that should end the war. Fantastic! I seized all your stuff. I got all the money back that I used to uh, to uh, murder you. So that's good. We'll give this land away. We need to find uh, somebody who doesn't own land, like this beautiful man right here. My grandson. Wait, who's your father? My son is your father. So you're my heir. Your might is touched. Otherwise, you suck balls. Um, well, hopefully you'll get some some skills by becoming a, by becoming a count. God, do you suck balls. Alright, where's that revolt, by the way? How's it doing? I'll come take care of it when... Uh, when I go to war with those guys over there in a little bit.
I wonder what happens if I land right here. I have an idea. I have an idea. This may be foolish, but I'm kind of curious. I'm going to actually put my army right where this big Venetian army is. Um, it's probably going to result in some gnarly attrition, which it is. But um, I'm reinforcing at a pretty decent rate, and what I want is my... My reinf to get it to full morale, and then we're just gonna go to war, basically. We're gonna try to go to war with them. Why do you not like me? Why don't you like me, Anders? Why are you dis up, like, upset with me? Different religion, and you're zealous. Well, I'm gonna give you a gift so that you like me. I don't know if that matters, but I'm doing it. Alright, so we're almost up to full morale. We're gaining uh, 1,200 troops a month. The enemy has less guys, and we're going to see if we just can crush them right here. So, you. Where are you? You are leading this army of 25 dudes? What's my chance of assassinating you? About the same as it is for everybody else. Um, wait, what did it say? I saw something interesting that just came up. What did that say? Assassinate? Oh, if I'm discovered, it's a black stain. Whatever. Whatever. Where are you at, dude? Scheme right here. Now we gotta get this guy. Assassinate. Same, pretty much the same odds as we had before. Come on, big bucks. No whammies. Okay, that wasn't a whammy. At least not big bucks, though. Let's see if we get some big bucks. Big bucks. No whammies. All right. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Oh, I got discovered. Yeah, fuck. Come on. Fourth time's a charm. That's okay, he's dead. <laughs> Where are you at? Oh, god damn it, I clicked on me. He's dead. You. Declare war. Four. I want, um... Whatever I just sieged over here, actually. Did your claim for Corinthos? Yes. Send. Now, our, our, now the question is, who's going to be the attacker and who's going to be the defender in this little war right here? Um, they're defending. They get a hills defense, so that sucks. Um, but I'm still gonna win the battle. Superior troops, superior position that just literally crushed their entire army. <laughs> totally worth it, guys. Totally worth it. Um, yeah, give me those ships. Why are you upset? How have I had your vassals raised for that long? Do I have a f do I just raised a fleet? Don't have any army levels raised, so is this just coming down from a previous war experience? Or is this going up? Get on the boats. It was really fun to crush that army. Maybe a little gamey, but really fun. I am so glad I did. Oh, there's an army there. Won't really matter. My kinsman became a scholarly theologian, and he can marry somebody. I don't get an alliance out of it, but whatever. Enjoy. I don't really need alliances anymore. Who's going to lose land? Why are you going to lose land? Because you're the heir to Asunio's host. Who the fuck is Asunio? Who's Asunio, and why are you his heir? Weird. Well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This war is going to end before it began. Which is, of course, impossible. And then I'm going to go up there and crush that stupid army. There should be, like, nobody defending any of these facilities, because I just sieged them not, not 20 seconds ago. Actually, it was more like four minutes ago. All right, so two wars with Venice. Or two wars? Three wars? Two wars? Two wars. Two wars with Venice right down the, uh, the crapper. I th think that's good. No, no. Dude, you can, uh, you can surrender now that I have, uh, I have, uh, done all that good stuff. Excellent. We got too much, too much land. Oh. I need to give you 
congratulations, you're gonna get, uh, this county. Because somebody has the city already, and I don't want the city. Good, gave you the right thing. Now, become goddamn Catholic. I mean, uh, Orthodox. Become the correct religion. Alright, so now I'll come over, kill, um, the Elkanate. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the Timurids don't, um, join. Hopefully I can win the war fast enough where the Timurids will not join in on the war. Because the uh, Timurids are big and goddamn scary. Oh, and they've almost completely, uh, swallowed up all of, of, whatever that place is called, India. <laughs> What is purple? Oh, it's some revolt. This is some revolt. The Welsh revolt. I was like, who's purple? That is a cool color. No, it's just some crappy revolt. Alright, so we'll march our men over here. Declare war on the Ilkhani. Um, all sorts of revolts and stuff going on down here. That reminds me. Who do I have in jail? I got a whole load of people in jail. Um, nope, you don't want to get any, give me any money for execution. Um, is there anybody I can let go that will actually, like, increase my, make people like me better? Oh, he's not going to ransom anybody. That's interesting. Did I accidentally just let that guy go? Let my people go. It's not a heretic. Stop calling him a heretic. Oh, my, uh, my dude died. That's too bad. Um, he did succeed in converting that county, though. So, let's proselytize here. The orthodoxy continues to spread. That is good. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, make people like me better. Um, yes, please improve diplomatic relations with this guy. I may need him again. Oh, I don't want to crush that army yet. I want to go to the war with Ilkhani first, then I'll crush that army. And how many uh, Venetian territories are left? One, two, three. Is that correct? Three Venetian ter territories left? One, two, and three. Yes, we got three Venetian territories left and one, um, one stupid island. And two pieces of land here, which I should be able to get in a holy war, and one territory here. So this is uh, this is not going badly. The the war with Elkanet probably won't happen until the next episode, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. We have a monster army. Yeah, we're doing fantastic. Somebody's just inherited the Karaman Sultanate. Is that, of course, no, it wasn't a uh, Karawan Sultanate. It wasn't the hated Timurids. What is your religion? You are Sunni. Who else around is Sunni? Um, everybody is goddamn fucking Sunni. Okay. How many troops do you have? You currently have... 2,701. Okay, that is good. How many troops do you have? You currently have 56 or 30,804. All right. Well, we'll find out on the next episode if I can win the war with against the, uh, the Muslims or not. But until then, guys, I thank you guys very much for watching. We uh, are rolling headlong towards the end of this series, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. So I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you on the next episode.